Hey guys, how's it going? It's finally the week of the Oscars! And a group of YouTubers invited me to be part of what they call We Love the Oscars. It is hosted by Rami Maniello. I will link his information down below. And basically what we all do is just tell you our predictions of who's going to win the 24 main categories of the Oscars. So it's kind of like a bet. So whoever has the most guesses wins an Amazon card and gets a shout out from all the other YouTubers in their channel. And whoever loses, well, they get to give someone a shout out if they won. In other words, if I lose, you're basically gonna know about a really cool YouTuber, and if I win, I get to buy a lot of books on Amazon. I wanna make a small disclaimer saying I haven't watched all of the movies this year, so even if I pick something, doesn't mean that's like what I really wanted to win, it's just what I think the Academy is actually going to pick. So without further ado, here are all the 24 nominations and who I think will take the Oscar home. So let's start with the big dogs, this is what you really came to see. Let's start with Best Picture. I personally think the Academy is going to pick The Revenant. Honestly, it's such a well-made picture. It might not be your favorite story, it might not have been perfectly executed, but in terms of direction and, uh, you know, just the whole components that it takes to make a film, I think Revenant is pretty up there. As for director, we have almost the same people. Again, I feel like the Oscars really love Iñárritu. Like, they love his style, the way he executes film, and I think people really love that he takes different styles of directing and just merges it with traditional directing. Like, those very long scenes, and there are plenty of those in The Revenant. There's a lot of symbolism and a lot of very artistic, Oscar-worthy kind of directing, so I think they're gonna go for him. Now for the best actor, I know who everybody wants to win, but I am not sure if that's going to be the case. I want Leonardo to win, although part of me doesn't want him to win, not because he doesn't deserve it, he always has deserved it. I feel like it's going to be a cheap win, if you know what I mean. And to win now, it feels like it would be such a condescending thing from the Academy. My personal choice would be DiCaprio, however, I think they might give it to Eddie Redmayne because they just love when an actor completely transforms himself and it's just like this method acting kind of thing and I think they might go for Redmayne once again. For Best Actress, I think the Oscars really love a fresh face when it comes to this category and so I think they're gonna go for Brie Larson. She's a fresh face, she's young, she's incredibly talented and I think this role was really special for her performance and for the way people will see her from now on. For Best Supporting Actor, my choice, this is personal and objective, I'm gonna say it's gonna go to Tom Hardy. I think he did wonderful in The Revenant. I think he was maybe the most present character like you. Like he drove a lot of emotions out of you whether it was hate or whether you kind of pitied him here and there. So I really do think it's gonna go to Tom Hardy and I hope it goes to Tom Hardy. He's an amazing actor, he deserves the recognition. Fingers crossed. For Best Supporting Actors, we have Jennifer Jason Lee, Rooney Mara, Alicia Vikander, and Kate Winslet. Everybody keeps saying Kate Winslet was fantastic in Steve Jobs. I haven't seen it, so I can't tell. Bless you. I'm here. People see you. Hi. I think this time I'm not going to go for the objective choice. I'm going to go for Jennifer Jason Lee because I think her role as Daisy in The Hateful Eight was astounding. For best original screenplay, I'm gonna go for Spotlight because I think it's very difficult to adapt a story that is based on, you know, real events. It's hard to maintain it accurate, especially something that is so based on journalism and something that's so delicate as, you know, pedophilia in the Catholic Church. For best adaptive screenplay, mm, this is a toss-up. I'm gonna go with Room. I think that will win. Best animated feature, there is Anomalisa, Inside Out, Boy in the World, When Marnie Was There, and Shaun the Sheep. It's gonna go to Inside Out, right? I mean, I think there's no discussion. It would be a lovely surprise if it didn't, but every time Pixar makes a movie, which is every year, or should I say every time they make an original movie, they win. I mean, what can you do? They're the big boss. Best foreign language film. This one, no idea. Haven't seen any of these movies. I am not proud to say this. I'm gonna go with A War, just because I actually know what it's about. Best Documentary Feature. I would love Amy to win, but I feel like what happened Miss Simone, it's a more, I wanna say, socially important kind of documentary, and I think it's a more sort of intriguing story and more in keep with what the Academy likes. So. What Happened Miss Simone is my choice. Best Cinematography. This one is really difficult because they're all so visually stunning. It's not easy. I'm gonna go with Sicario. Is that a fair choice? Sicario. That's my choice. Best Film Editing. This one I'm gonna go with Matt Max. I think it takes a lot of talent and skill 
for you to edit this movie and for it to be coherent. There's so much going on and yet you can just follow it perfectly. For best production design, uh, I'm gonna go with The Revenant. I think they'll definitely win. For best costume design, almost the same people except there's Carol and Cinderella. I have a feeling that Carol is going to win. Like, the style and the decade is something that's very classic and appealing. Best original score. Uh, this one is like a no-brainer for me. It's The Hateful Eight, Ennio Morricone, best score I've heard in a really, really long time. He deserves to win. God knows it was chilling and amazing. That's the one. Best original song, Fifty Shades of Grey. Mm. This is one of those categories that is just lukewarm for me this year. It's so bad, I don't know what happened. So I'm gonna go with Spectre. Best visual effects. I really think this is a Matt Max category. They deserve it. It was really great. Best makeup and hairstyle. Matt Max, the 100 year old man, what, what? And The Revenant. The Revenant is gonna win. Wait for it. Best sound mixing and sound editing. I think I'm gonna give them both. Ugh, I'm between The Revenant and Matt Max don't know. Mm, I'm gonna go with Mad Max, definitely. Now for some interesting categories, best documentary short. I'm gonna go with Last Day of Freedom. Oh, we'll see. Now for best live action short film. I'm going to go with Day One. This is so terrible. And for the final category, aren't you so happy about this? The best animated film short. Now I've only seen two out of the five. I've seen Sanjay's Super Team, which is the Pixar short film. Really cute, really good, no dialogue, as Pixar does it. And then there's World of Tomorrow, which is on Netflix. It's such an interesting story. It's so complex. It's very layered. It makes you feel things you were not expecting. Futuristic and existential. Ugh. Oh, I know Pixar's gonna win, but I'm gonna go for World of Tomorrow. So guys, those are all the 24 categories. Tell me, which one do you think is going to win the most Oscars? I'm sure it's gonna be The Revenant, but I would love to hear what you think in the comments section down below. Don't forget to go check out the other YouTubers. I will do my best to link all of their videos down below. But guys, that's it. That's everything. I hope you enjoy the Oscars. I hope you have a great time. I definitely will be tweeting all about it on Sunday. So if you want, you can go follow me at Cineclub Channel. Same for Instagram and almost the same for Facebook. Again, links down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and other shenanigans like this. And I will see you on our next movie date. Bye! Lila says bye because I'm so annoying and I don't know how to stay still. Bye! But you are beautiful. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't look away when I talk to you.